Hello everyone, this is the Lovelace family and today we're checking out the Carnival Sunshine embarkation out of Charleston, South Carolina. How long did it take us to get on this ship? We did this video about a year and a half ago and did an update. All that was during COVID and right at the end of COVID. We're going to check this one out after the pandemic and how long it took us to get on the Carnival Sunshine. It's a little different port, so watch this to figure out how we go through the process and then tell us in the comments how long it takes you to get on if you've been on there before. We're going to tell you exactly down to the minute and seconds. Thank you. All right, Michelle's getting ready to hit the All right, we're in the parking lot. Hey, a sign already it says noise ordinance. Your first stop will be paid parking at $21 a day. So ever how long your cruise is, that's what the cost is. A lot of people ask what this structure is. This is the Bennett Rice Mill facade. It was opened in 1845. It is in the South Carolina Ports Authority Union Pier Terminal, and it is one of the finest examples of 19th century American industrial architect, and it is protected. All right, after you drop off your luggage, it's time to go park. This is, you know, the quick process. Uh, on this particular day, we parked the furthest away once again and was going to have to walk, but we'll give you a little bit of tip here coming up. All right, we got to go to that annex building out there. Michelle and Anthony's going through the parking lot. That's the rice mill facade. All right, so here's our tip for you. If you have mobility issues, if you see somebody with a golf cart, snag them down. They'll take you straight up to the entrance of the annex building that you first go into. This gentleman here, uh, I talked to him about it. I was willing to walk myself and just let my wife ride, but he said, no, I'll take all three of you there. So he, now he's taking us to the building you go into. I think it's 3420 or 30, 3240, 324. One of those, I'm gonna show it on the side of the building here. So, uh, so that's just a tip if you do have mobility issues. They also have handicapped parking up closer. Also, those with handicap signs in their windows, they do offer free parking. All right, this is building 324. If you have mobility issues, I'll drop you off right here at the tent on the golf cart. You ready yet? Ready to do this? All right, in building 324, this is the first part where you'll actually kind of show your boarding pass, the get in line to go to the next part of the building. 
uh, where they actually check every little thing. We did have faster the fun, so we bypassed this crowd right here, went straight to the right. You can see Anthony Michelle going, and we go up straight uh, up here, and we get, you know, they kind of moved us to the front up. So if you're priority or diamond or faster the fun, you're going to bypass this line here. Uh, that's the one advantage of it. All right, this is the next area you walk through. Check in. That's where you came in from outside. Still building 324. This time they don't just check your boarding pass, they check your ID. Again, we had faster the fun, so we kind of bypassed a lot of these in and out and down these lines. Here's a look at the crowd waiting to get on a bus to be called to go to another area. All right, you'll wait in that holding area until they call you. If you got diamond, platinum, priority, you're gonna get called up very soon. Uh, if not, they call you by, I believe, zones or letters on your boarding pass. I can't remember off the top of my head. But then uh, you gotta get on the bus and then we'll go to another building. Finally, we are getting close to the sunshine, the carnival sunshine here in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, you'll drive right up to a building that is directly in front of the sunshine. They'll drop you off and then we'll show you how we're wrapped around a building. Normally you go inside that building. They told us something was going on is the reason why everybody had to go down and around the building. Uh, but here they'll check your bags, scan you, make sure you don't have any you know, guns or metal on you. And, uh, and then you're ready to get on. Hey, and just a heads up, you cannot film on this last part. They told me to stop filming, so I stopped filming. But here you're going in, they'll run your bags through the metal detectors and also have you step through a metal detector and you're ready to get on the sunshine. All right, we're going on the Carnival Sunshine. We're going up this little gangway ramp. I think we're going to be around an hour, a little over an hour from beginning to end. Let's see, getting close. the vacation again. Woohoo! On the big ship. All right, hit your thing. All right, so we made it on in one hour exactly and seven seconds. What y'all think about that? Is it worth faster to fund for 15 yes, minutes? Yes. We is. did get we did get priority, so that was good. So let's go get on the big ship. So that's our quickest time getting on the Carnival Sunshine, one hour and seven seconds. Normally it takes about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes for us. Um, we did have somebody go earlier than us this day that was a platinum member, and uh, it took them two hours. Now we had heard TSA had held things up and kind of delayed the parking. A lot of people had to wait in the parking lot for like 30 minutes before they could actually go through and park. But hey, if you've been on this ship, it's a little bit different. Please subscribe to our channel. We got over 60 videos on the Carnival Sunshine.